Did you know that as Pakistan struggles to meet its demand for refined petroleum products, foreign investors are playing a critical role in fostering growth? Do you want to know more about Pakistan's potential for petrochemical investment? China has changed the course of the global oil market by investing $4.5 billion to build a revolutionary oil terminal in Pakistan. This massive project is anticipated to alter the energy industry's environment and strengthen bilateral economic ties. The Gwadar port will have a significant storage capacity, enabling Pakistan to store its stockpiles for longer, while also saving money. With China's investment, Pakistan may soon see a substantial transformation that will support the growth and development of its energy sector. Learn more about China's historic investment in Pakistan's petrochemical industry and how it could impact the future of the region's energy sector by watching this video. Gwadar, the powerhouse of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, or CPEC, is poised to receive a $4.5 billion oil refinery as the Chinese firm East Sea Group unveils plans to build an oil refinery with an annual processing capacity of 8 million tons. The firm announced this in a press release. The entry of the Chinese firm comes at a time of uncertainty regarding the fate of oil refinery in Gwadar, as international players have been indecisive and in dragging their feet on the offer to establish an oil refinery in the region. The uncertain status of the Gwadar development has triggered concerns about its future. However, the Chinese enterprise's decision to build an oil refinery in the Gwadar Free Zone area, Phase 2, has energized the CPEC's revitalization efforts. During a briefing at the Pakistan-China Joint Chamber of Commerce and Industry Secretariat, EC Group CEO Fang Yulong, who is also the Senior Vice President of the PCJCCI, made a significant announcement. He revealed plans to launch a mega-project to build the Gwadar Petroleum Storage and Transportation Trading Center, creating a positive impact. East Sea Group has taken a significant step by submitting a letter of intent to the authorities through China Oversea Ports Holding Company Pakistan Limited. The letter states the company's willingness to invent approximately $4.5 billion in phases to establish an oil refinery. Sources with knowledge of the matter reveal that the proposal includes plans for a refinery with significant storage capacity, which will allow Pakistan to maintain reserves for a more extended period and save foreign exchange. The implementation of this multi-billion dollar project will boost further investment in the petrochemical industry in Gwadar. Additionally, the proposal seeks the assistance of relevant government departments in facilitating the formation and implementation of a broad policy framework necessary for the project's materialization. This initiative has the potential to bring immense benefits to Pakistan's economy, and the East Sea Group's commitment is an encouraging sign for the development of Gwadar. The concerned institutions are preparing to meticulously examine the detailed business plan and feasibility study to advance the government of Pakistan's approval of the mega-project. The announcement of the Chinese oil refinery's launch appears to have reinvigorated foreign investment that had stalled in the oil refinery sector due to various reasons in recent years. In January 2019, Saudi Arabian officials declared their intention to establish a $10 billion oil refinery in Pakistan's deep water port of Gwadar. However, the plan was eventually retracted. In a sudden move, Saudi Arabia had recently indicated a renewed interest in the oil refinery project in Gwadar, which had been stalled for several years. Furthermore, the United Arab Emirates has expressed a willingness to establish a cutting-edge, deep conversion refinery in Pakistan that could produce up to 500,000 barrels per day. Currently, there are five domestic players operating in Pakistan's oil refinery sector, including Parco, Attic Refinery Limited, National Refinery Limited, Pakistan Refinery Limited, and Energy Co. PK Limited. All refineries, except for Parco, are hydro skimming refineries. Pakistan's current oil refining capacity is approximately 450,000 barrels per day, or 20 million tons per annum. Local refineries supply about 60% of the country's diesel. 30% of its motor gasoline, and 100% of its jet fuel for defense, while the remainder is imported as refined products. Due to a lack of primary petrochemical production facilities in Pakistan, the country imports significant volumes of petrochemicals, worth over 2 billion annually. Foreign investment from significant players like China, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates might speed Pakistan's attempts to improve its refining capacity and grow its petrochemical industry. The industry may experience considerable development as a result of these investments, which would decrease the reliance of the nation on imported refined goods.
and open up new business prospects for domestic firms.